Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <coughs> Just... <coughs> you see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. No. Oh, if there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. Alright, so I'm in Windhelm and I was kind of doing some stuff and came across this unique quest. I believe it's unique at least, so we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna grab this here. This is a quest I was doing out in um, kind of a side quest I was doing. Uh, so let's talk to this guy. What were you guys arguing about? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. If you tell me where it is, I can get it for you. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach its resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, no, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Why is the vial so important to you? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, have chosen me for their amusement. <laughs> for in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. So since we're an alchemist, I figure we might as well Maybe. do this quest, right? Uh, let's see, first I was looking for a poison potion when I came in here. It's fine. Got all these potions. Can sell these later. Let's see what his assistant has to say. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. It doesn't matter what I believe. Norelian does. And it might be the only thing keeping him alive right now. Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. I don't appreciate he's, he's not That's the best the teacher, but just watching him, I've learned so much. Alright, so, so I guess we're going to go look for this secret, superstitious, legendary vial. I'm not quite sure what it is or what it does, but it sounds pretty cool. Alright, so now we've uh, fast forwarded. We're now at Forsaken Cave. Um, I just ran through some fields, killed some wolves, and made our way to Forsaken Cave. As you can see, I'm playing with the uh, I'm playing with one of the mods, Climates of Tamriel. It's supposed to pretty closely replicate how these caves would look if you know you were actually in a natural, realistic setting. So, uh, still a little lighter in here than probably would be in the real the real world, but uh, pretty dark, nevertheless.
So these ice wraiths are pretty tough to sneak up on, at least currently, so... Um, Alright, so this is Ghost Walk. Again, it makes you stealth for 10 seconds. Oh, ah, right. So that wasn't very effective. Right, so it's one. Gonna do my uh, sweet little special culture specific spell here. I freaking love this thing. Storm Charger, I think it's called. Ah, come on. What's the problem with using daggers? Daggers have like no reach, so it's like. Alright. Honed! I think I had mentioned this previously, but I'm still kind of debating whether I want to keep dual dagger or if I want to go sandstorm charge. There we go. Um, go dual dagger or get a broadsword and dagger. I don't know. I mean, I think as far as thieves are concerned, it seems to make more sense. The thieves tend to do, they do do wield, but they do wield with like, you know, the broadsword and the uh, dagger. But then if we're like, once we're playing more assassin-like, it would seem to make sense to kind of stick with the dual daggers. So we'll see. Alright, so we need to retrieve the white file. It's legendary. The reason I decided to do a side quest, I'm like, well, you know, we're, we're going to be an alchemist by trade. And this guy's talking about this legendary alchemist file, so it kind of makes sense that we'd be interested to do an alchemy related quest and if this file is so legendary maybe it'll be a sweet quest item to pick up. I mean once we get it we don't have to take it back to him. <laughs> if it's that awesome. Can't see crap. Uh, should definitely put this on. If you haven't seen me use Bask before, it's just a spell that decreases the effects that the elements have on you. So since we're in a dungeon right now, it's kind of chilly. That decreases the effect that the, the chill has on you. If you get too cold, then what'll happen is your, your stats will take a hit. And you won't be able to do as much damage, or maybe your HP goes down, uh, so on and so forth. Looks like there's some spikes there behind the treasure chest. I want that right there. It's basically like a dual cast with illusion. And it's supposed to affect undead. We'll see. Yeah, part of it too is like even though it may say it works on undead, <coughs> if you're the spell level is too low. Ow! Can't see anything! Seriously? Already? Oh, unbelievable. Okay, it was worthless. It's already dead. 
There's another guy up there. Man! Well, that's pretty annoying. He got nuked by that fire inferno thing, and I think it killed him. Oh well. It's a good thing we're an assassin type that doesn't really need a follower. <clears throat> I have an idea of another follower we can go grab, though, at some point. Two of them. And that is how we do. Man, it's dark in here. Those kind of look like traps. Yeah, I guess false alarm. Wait till he turns around to walk down the stairs and just snipe him. Ah, uh, magic of health, magic of health. You know, I could probably be more strategic with regards to the distribution of my. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> To, uh, uh, I meant to do our uh, sandstorm charge. That's funny. Um, I mean, really, I think if I really wanted to be like obsessive with how we distribute our points, I would probably put very little into health and put most of it into magicka and stamina. So the stamina, because it not only affects how much you carry, but also how much damage you do, and I want to say it affects how much damage you take. So if you have really high stamina, you'll take less damage in addition to doing more damage. So it's really good if you're going to be a tank character, you have a lot of stamina. Um, the Magicka, obviously, because we want to be using a lot of illusion later on in the game. Um, and so it's a good idea early on, especially with <coughs> Skyrim Redone, the mod with how many levels you get early on. Put a lot of, that, a lot of those points early on into your base stats, because at some point you're going to start... At some point, you're gonna start, you know, leveling up slower. So, but again, I'm just cruising along, so I'm just gonna throw crap into whatever looks good this time. I haven't played for a while, and I think I'm gonna get back into it. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I do have a couple characters on there. I just don't play consistent enough to adapt, huh? I have all my lock picking equipment on. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Uh, do I have any potions of lock picking? I don't. So notice the top there, so there is a there is a trick to lock picking. See those bolts? I use those and then the triangular rivets. And then sometimes even the little crosses there as my markers to figure out where my lock pick is. You can use those as a way to kind of figure out whether it should go further upwards or further downwards or whatever.
what I mean by that is if you if you know you're getting close to being able to pick the lock uh, and then your lock pick breaks if you're looking to see where the tip of your lock pick is if it's whether neon's near the bolts or if it's in between two of those cross like markers or if it's at like the third triangle down or whatever then what happens is when your lock pick breaks and you do it again you'll, you'll already have a kind of a starting point for your new lock pick you know you can turn it over to that third triangle or whatever uh, that's usually how I do it and it seems to make it a lot easier to pick locks I mean obviously having skill in lock picking and all that stuff helps too which you know we have a lot of we already have a lot of points in lock picking and I think I've spent a perk or two on lock picking Do you want to take these guys out before they arise? Resisted it. No. Ah! Jesus Christ! Take that. Time to unleash the Dragonborn. Ah! Sucker! Sometimes you sneak a dra Dragonborn on their ass. So if I haven't mentioned it before, that Doppelganger spell I just tried, that's going to be a spell we're going to rely on pretty heavily later in the game. Uh, I think. It's one of those forgotten magic spells. Uh, which is a mod that I've installed that has what's really cool is that you use this forgotten magic uh, doppelganger is one of them and it actually levels up each time you use it and then it unlocks like basically perks that you can put on it uh, to basically modify or enhance the original spell so you know you can put something on it and basically kind of almost like entirely different spell uh, or you can put something on it that'll like enhance what it already does so that's pretty cool so you'll see me uh, using that throughout the game. Yeah. Th there we go. It worked. Ow! I just got nuked. 
Hey, well, at least we know it works. There we go. Dual casting works now on Undead. Because, again, I'm trying to get away from Bow. I mean, I'm still going to use it from time to time, but my go-to is going to be Illusion or uh, Two-Handed Dagger. Then I think occasionally when I have to be in a melee fight, we'll bust out a broadsword. That'll probably end up being the uh, ultimate plan. Oh, there's two of them. Jesus. Ah! I think we're gonna die. Alright, get him. Get him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I pulled that out. Whew. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> so that, that spell I'm using, uh, I think it's the Phantom Shadow, I think? It basically creates a uh, illusion of the target, but it only has one health. So, the best way to, I think, use it is in conjunction with, like, fear, where they're, like, running away, and then you cast that on them. Yeah, Pale Shadow. You cast it on them, and so they're running away, they're being whacked by this 1 HP uh, illusion. It seems to work most effectively that way. Or if they're distracted. You know, they're getting whacked by somebody else, so... I feel like we should get some like Mission Impossible music, you know? When you're in these in these caves. It's probably not very immersive. <laughs> but Yeah, obviously I had to add that to the music, so. Alright, uh so I guess we go they keep going this way, looks like. Can I go through here? I'm trying to stay in the shadows is my goal here. Oh, chest, chest, chest. Health three, that's not bad. But I'm trying to stay in the shadows here, but uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to accomplish that. And we proceed further. The Forsaken Crypt. Doesn't sound very. Uh, doesn't sound like somewhere you'd like want to go. You know, I think this vial better be worth it. Flawless Emerald. I actually got lucky that guy didn't see us. Beautiful. See, I love that spell because, like, if you miss the snipe, it'll teleport you back, so you're at least not in immediate danger of getting whacked.
Looks like we need to go up. I really can't wait till I get it. There's a, an illusion perk that allows you to cast silently. Or not illusion, it's uh, under the sneak skill set. So once I get that, we'll be in really good shape. That perk actually works really well with illusion because then what you can do is you can use like fear or fury like spells. Actually fury, stuff like that. Or, or you know, like phantoms or those sort of things. And because you're casting silently, you won't be detected when you do it. Which further increases the likelihood that they'll go after like the phantom uh, or after each other. Whoa! I got stuck there. I was trying to get out of there. Um, let me kill this guy and I'll finish my thought. So that's Wither, which decreases his movement speed and attack speed. He's trying to, so I don't know why this pale shadow is not grouping. There's his homeboy back there. I didn't even need his homeboy here. So, what I was trying to do there is I'm trying to hotkey Wither and Phantom Shadow, but or Pale Shadow, but Pale Shadow does not does not work on hotkey for my groupings, anyways. I'm not not sure why it's not working. See, look at that. F4, 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 F4. Alright, so I guess maybe I'll just have to, to do it as like a one of my numbered hotkeys. Phantom Pain, I think, decreases their melee... Uh, decreases their HP or their melee attack speed by like 3% every time they walk or move or something like that. So, so I guess this will be my F4 from now on. The other one I'll just make a, a hotkey number, I suppose. Uh, to, but to finish my thought from previously, um, once you get silent casting, because right now they could cast, if I cast a phantom image as you've seen before, it doesn't always distract the enemy because they heard me cast and so they now have a choice to go after me or the phantom. So they're going to go after me because they saw me cast it. If I'm a silent caster though, they'll see the phantom and that's the only target that they detect and therefore they'll go after that. Uh, so that, and then the same thing with Fury. You know, when you cast Fury, you'll be one of the options for them to attack, and since you're the one that just cast, and so you, you were the first one to make an aggressive movement, they're more likely to go after you than perhaps the person, the, the AI that's directly next to them. Uh, but if you silent cast, then uh, they'll, they'll just go after whomever they detect is closest to them, which is always going to be, you know, the AI. So anyways, uh, Long term here, that's that's gonna be my goal. Just get that get that spell. So I think that's where we were at. We we're down there. Where was that at? Is it down there? Oh nope, right in front of us. <laughs> of course. If it wasn't so lit here, I would have snuck up and sniped him, but it didn't really seem like a practical option there. By the way, it may be really fun to be a spellcaster with all the different spells that are available with uh, the couple of the mods that we have. Um, but again, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be immersive. So I'm, I'm trying to stick, stick with the whole thief, assassin, mind bender theorem. Um, but it, it is very tempting at times to want to deviate and start using some destructive spells and those sort of. See, so there he, he detected us casting there. So even though we're stealth, he heard us cast. Whereas if I have silent cast, if I got silent cast going on, uh, he would have never heard that. 
Nope. There's another one. Domination. See, as long as we get the sneak attack, we're good. We missed the sneak attack, though, and we're definitely uphill in terms of combat. Stay in the shadows as much as possible. Alright, so that guy looks like he's tough. Let's see here. Let me just snipe him. He already detects us. Ah, uh oh. Yeah, no. Alright, but there you go. That's why I love that spell. We missed the snipe. We're able to step back, get out of harm's way. Uh, he's got. Ah! No! Alright, so. Ah. Oh. I'm panicking. What do I do? What do I do? Alright, we kill him. That's what we do. <laughs> We got pwned. All right, that, that's just fantabulous. You know what? I probably should have done. There was counter spell. I do have that spell. I should have used that. Uh, it basically it's like you. Uh... All right, so I just fast forwarded here because uh, you didn't need to watch me run through all the way back to this point again. So let's try this again. Um, 
I should use what I was saying before. I should use counter spell. Nice. Boom! There we go. That's what I was trying to do last time. Um, so what I did that time was I, I, I just I snuck up on him like old school, but I used our uh, special ability to slow down time. So that if he were to detect us, it would have taken him. He's pr he was he was in the process of detecting us, but because we slowed down time. Um. Ow. There is a axe there. But yeah, I was saying it before. Let me finish my thought. I was using counter spell, then I think it would have either interrupted his spell casting and either done like damage to his magicka or Whoa! There's somebody. Or something like that, so. Ah What the hell? He just like nuke us? Got sandstorm charge on it. So we must be close to being done though, because there is a word of power. Uh, he's got buddies. Yeah, okay, we did like no damage. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we get completely schooled <laughs> there, so let's try this again here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take out his buddy first. So he didn't detect us that time, that's good. That's a surprise. I kind of expected him to be coming at us. But, alright, so we took out his buddy. He's using some sort of cold magic, so I put on a protection against cold, fortify health, pure spectral line. I think that puts fear in like humans, but it doesn't do anything for these guys. Sandstorm's charge. Alright, uh, let's see. How do I want to approach this guy? The Bone Spirit's really fun to use on Undead, but again, I'm trying to... ...stick to the immersion. Alright, so there he is. He's right there. So there we go. Alright, so he's detected us, but... Oh, beautiful! There we go, look at that. So again, right? Just like the last guy, like as long as we can get in and hit him before we're detected, we're very successful. It's as soon as they detect us that we are in some, some significant trouble. Um, I need to drop something, so let's see here. I always look at the weight compared to the value of the item. I meant to sell that earlier, that was my bad. Probably just end up dropping this right here, the Dwarven Broadsword. It's not worth a whole lot of money and it's fairly heavy. Right, let's go get this word. Word of power, kill marked for death. Nice, okay. So that uh, enhances the amount of damage that you do to them. Yeah, it decreases their armor and life force. So that's a good one to have when you have all three. Might as well unlock that. I've got a couple of dragon souls to spend, so... Disarm's good, too. I, I need to start using my, my words of power a little bit more. I'm not I'm not using them as, as effectively and often. Whoa! Uh, okay, so there's a guy right there. <laughs> Did not wake him up with the light, so that's good. Take him out. Alright, so let's see if there's anything around here to pick up. Oh, oh, okay, so there's another guy over there. Alright, so we are actually really lucky that all these guys did not spawn when we took out the main guy. Because that could have been problematic. I think we'll keep the torch uh, in our pocket for now. Not sure where that goes. Hold off going that way. Killed that guy. Alright. 
Okay, so that's the exit, so let's go on through here. No, nope. so we already went there, down here. Activate. Ah, okay, so this is the mixture he gave us. That's pretty cool. So he gave us this mixture and it opened up this wall. Looks very nasty looking. Alright, there's the vial. Um, lots of ingredients. Picked up all these bowls that I don't need. So I'll just drop one of those shields. Worth good money though. Right. Crack it's cracked. But looks good otherwise. So okay. Apothecary satchel. Alright, I think we've uh, thoroughly cleaned this area out. I don't see anything else that we can grab. Oh, I'm a torch out, so. See anything else? I see nothing. I think we are good. Oh, there's some stuff. There we go. Ah, that one vial just pushed us over the edge. Uh. Oh, I got two of these. There we go. All right. Nothing, nothing. Okay, so I guess, uh, I guess that's everything. So let's uh, head on out of here. Go turn this in. See what, uh, see what we get. We lost a follower, but we gained a file. Better have been worth it, losing a follower. I mean, we did get a, a voice, a, a word of power, so I mean, that's always a huge plus, but still. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Went and got his file. He owes me. This will take all his crap. We are a thief after all.
serious compensation for uh, me losing my follower over this. We are fat on booty. That's all good. It's good being a thief. Alchemy is simple. Listen. Listen. It matches every description of the file that I've found in law. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. How did you manage to damage it then? How did you manage This is what I get for not retrieving it myself. Get for not retrieving it myself. Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm the file, even if you wanted to. Either way. This Either is the way, end of it. This is now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> I'm not quite in the mood to I'm entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself how. Trust you can... Here's for your trouble. Here's for your trouble. <coughs> Why, you little... Filcher! Filcher! So that's great, he gives us five gold, takes the file, we lost a follower, this is freaking lame. I'm glad I ransacked his house. I want to thank you for I wonder if we were supposed to like fix the file. Oh, yeah, give me five septums, man. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norellian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. Alright, well, we got 500 gold out of it. Whatever. Um, let's uh, continue on with the Thieves quest. Kind of go from there. So the next episode will be a uh, continuation of the Thieves Guild. I'm going to look into this quest and see if maybe we're supposed to repair that file or something. And I can let you guys know for when you guys do it. Uh, I'm trying to find someone to sell stuff to right now. So, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. 